Hello friends and fans of EVGA and today we're going to be unboxing this H370 Stinger motherboard. You're going to want to check it out. So we're going to start out the unboxing here by getting into this delightful little box that we put the Stinger in. Um, it is clear wrapped and it's also security uh, packaged, security taped when you open it. You'll also see, and I won't put it in great detail, but the serial number is on the outside of the box, so if you want to register your EVGA product, right there on the side. First thing we see is we pull open the box. Right here, there's a very small USB thumb drive. I hope you can see that. Uh, this thumb drive actually carries all the drivers as well as the manual for the H370. It's actually a new thing for us. No more driver disk. We're trying to move to this type of format uh, for our motherboards. Along with that is your M.2 mounting screw. On the inside, we have a guide. Shot of that there. This gives you specifications, tells you all the I.O. ports for the motherboard. A very useful guide. We stopped carrying these with some of our motherboards for a time, but now we've added them to this H370 motherboard, and I'm personally happy to see that come back. Guide of some EVGA products. Everything else here is individually wrapped. A lot of it is done for static protection right here. If you can see that, this is the Wi-Fi card. This supports 802.11.ac, rather, and this is also Bluetooth 5.0, and there are antennas included as well. Mounting bracket. We have a thermal pad. This allows you to get the best possible temperatures if you're using an M.2 drive on the back of your motherboard. Wi-Fi antenna. Two 6 gigabit per second SATA 3 connectors. This is the IO shield for your case. And finally, we have the motherboard itself. Because it is a mini ITX motherboard built on the H370 platform, it is very compact. 6.7 inches by 6.7 inches. So if you want to do a small build, this is the best way to go. I'll show you some of the features of this motherboard. I can get it out. Inside the motherboard, here is the business. This is the motherboard itself. Show it to the other angle there. You can see you've got two DIMM slots that supports up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. You've got a PCI, uh, PCI Express slot that is an X16 slot, supports all of the latest and greatest EVGA graphics cards. One of the cool features of this motherboard is it has three USB headers. It has a USB 2.0 header. It has a USB 3.0 header, which is now also called USB 3.1 Gen 1. And it also has a 3.1 Generation 2, if you have a Type-C connector on the front of your case. Uh, for a very compact motherboard, it's great that we were able to pack in that many headers. Um, to pack in everything on this motherboard, it actually has a 10-layer PCB. Uh, it has support for 32 gigs of RAM, any i3, i5, or i7 of the current 8th gen variety from Intel, and also any of the current NVIDIA graphics cards the EVGA builds, but also AMD ones can work in this motherboard. For the I.O. ports, we've got our 5.1 output. We have an optical output, two USB 3.1 Gen 2s, two USB 3.1 Gen 1s, and two USB 2.0s, mostly for your keyboard and mouse support, um, and as well as your video outputs, your HDMI and your display port. Uh, this is a very compact, uh, very compact motherboard, but if you're doing a small build, we think you'll really enjoy it. 
Thank you guys for watching this unboxing. We intend to do uh, more builds in the future, and so I'd love to see us do a mini ITX build like featuring this motherboard. So stay tuned as we bring you more content with EVGA products.